Hey, Kipsters, welcome to Read Aloud. In the Howard Bison classroom, we love to sing a song called Read, Baby, Read to get our brains ready for our story. If you know it, sing it with me. If not, you can follow along. Put your hands up. Get ready, go. You gotta read, baby, read. Say what? You gotta read, baby, read. Say what? The more I read, the more I know. The more I know, the smarter I grow. The smarter I grow, the stronger my voice when using my words and making my choice. You gotta read, baby, read. Say what? You gotta read, baby, read. Say what? You gotta read. Today, we are gonna read a book called A Big Guy Took My Ball, and this is written by Mo Willems. Now, Mo Willems writes a lot of books about these two characters, Elephant, his name is Gerald, and Piggy, her name's Piggy. Have you ever read a book about Elephant and Piggy before? Have you ever read one? You have? Oh, oh man. Well, I hope that you haven't read this one before so that you can learn what happens in this story along with me. So in this book, a big guy takes Piggy's ball from her. Ooh. Has that ever happened to you? Has a big kid ever taken something from you? Oh, who, what did they take from you? Oh man, oh man, how did you feel when that happened? Yeah, we're going to see if Piggy feels the same way as you. Today, your job is to make a text to self connection. Watch me. Text, like you're holding a book, to self connection. A text to self connection is when you think about what are the characters doing? What is happening to them? And has that ever happened to me before? So you're going to connect the book to yourself and think about what has happened to you or to the characters that is the same in the book. So today when we read, you're gonna make text to self connections with Elephant and Piggy. The title is, A Big Guy Took My Ball. Your turn. Oh, let's see what happens to Piggy and Elephant. Gerald! I found a big ball and it was so fun. And then a big guy came and, and, and he took my ball. Oh, piggy. I am so upset. What happened to Piggy? Yeah, a big guy took Piggy's ball. Has that ever happened to you? Has anyone ever taken something from you? What did they take? You just made a text to self connection because you thought about what was the same in your life that happened to Piggy. That is not good. That is not right. Big guys have all the fun. What about the little guys? What makes those big guys think they are so big? Uh, their size? Well, I am big too. I will get your big ball from that big guy. How does Gerald feel? about the big guy taking Piggy's ball. Look at his face. Look at his body language. How does he feel? Yeah, Gerald feels angry or upset. I wonder what he's gonna do. My hero. Hmm, I noticed that Piggy is not going to ask for the ball back like Gerald is because she was afraid of that big guy. Have you ever been afraid to ask for something back? Oh, you just made another text to self connection because you thought about what was the same in your life that connects to Piggy. Here I go. Let's see how big this big guy is. 
Look at Gerald's face. Who is the big guy? Yeah, it's the whale. Is Gerald angry and mad anymore? No, he's not. Look at his face. How does he feel when he sees who the big guy is? That's right. He is surprised. I wonder what he will do next. He's walking away. Did you get my ball back? Mm, that is a big guy. You did not say how big he was. He is very big. He is bigger than I am. Much bigger. I am smaller than he is. Much smaller. He is so biggy, big, big, big. Uh, Gerald? You did not get my ball back, did you? Mm, I did not. Kipsters, why didn't Gerald get Piggy's ball back? Oh, yeah, because he saw how big that whale was and was like, uh, I'm not talking to this whale. I'm too scared. He is so big. Excuse me. Ooh, who do you think that could be? Do you, you think it's whale? I wonder what he's going to do. Thank you for finding my little ball. That is your ball? And you think it is little? Well, I am big. So big that no one will play with me. Little guys have all the fun. What is Whale's problem? What is his problem? Yeah, Whale doesn't have any friends to play with. What do you think? Gerald and Piggy will do. Look how they're looking at each other like they're thinking. What do you think they will do? Ooh, ooh, let's read to find out. Um, big guy, would you like to play whale ball with us? What is whale ball? Hmm, we do not know. We have not made it up yet. With a little help, we can all have big fun. Ooh, Kipsters, I notice that at the end of the story, Elephant and Piggy made a new friend. Remember in the beginning when Piggy and Elephant were both scared that this big guy was maybe going to be mean or hurt them when they asked for the ball back? You remember? Well, at the end... They learned that this big whale, this big guy, was not so scary, and he just wanted a friend to play with just like them. So look how much fun they're having. Oh. If you have ever made a new friend, think about who that is and what happened. You might say, just like Gerald and Piggy, I made a new friend when... That is a text-to-self connection. Tell someone at home when you made a new friend just like Elephant and Piggy to make a connection to the story. Oh, I can't wait to hear about your new friends. Thank you so much for joining me today to read A Big Guy Took My Ball by Mo Willems. See you later, Kipsters.